I'm Olivier de Rivière and uh, I'm a music composer for Remember Me. The Remember Me project started maybe two years ago when Jean-Max Morris, the uh, creative director, met with me and told me what was behind Remember Me in terms of characters, storyline and the universe. A long time to figure out what the music should support if it would be more the city or more the story or more the character. We didn't want the music to be as powerful as for a game like Call of Duty or you know where the music is very strong. We wanted to do something a little bit softer because we wanted to be closer to Nenin and to her story and her emotions. Sorry about your bow, Tommy. Be careful. It's a storm brewing, sweetheart. You don't let it swallow you up. Paris itself nowadays is included in Remember Me, but the near Paris in Remember Me is so much more exciting to me. You have the same buildings that we have today, but on top of them you have all those big structures and all those modern, you know, uh, TVs, signals, it's, it's really great. So I had the roots of Paris because I lived there, but I was also amazed by the work of Alexis Bricot, the uh, artistic director. It inspired me so much, you know, in terms of colors, pace, in terms of how the music would fit into this universe. It was great. I mean, all the ideas came from the game. Right now we are recording the orchestra, but the next step is to take this orchestra and to put it into electronic processing. It's a beautiful sound and we will keep the beautiful sound, but we will glitch this beautiful sound as Nilin is glitching the world she's in. So it's a reflection of what Nilin does to, you know, new Paris and the people. How does it feel to get this? and to know that I'm gonna screw it and be like... <laughs> <laughs> My name is John Kurlander and I'm the recording engineer and mixer for the music on Remember. Get her! You got to stop her! Get her now! Get her now! The orchestral score uh, for this game is very, very different because the whole thing is composed uh, in order to be electronic manipulated um, with some rhythmic elements in the electronic score. And so it gives it a very, very uh, unique and interesting sound that goes perfectly with the imagery of the game. Video games to me are the most interesting medium nowadays because we are looking for a language. Music is a good you know, asset that you can use for the players because that's every time something that I try to do for any game I work on. It's like how the music can improve the player's uh, experience.